Whoop whoop and welcome to the Background Jamie Show. Today is going to be a hair care update video. And I want to tell you what shampoo I've been using and what all the products that I was using that I'm still using. And I've been using Infusium 23, which I was using. I'm still using my Matrix. I was using my Matrix by a shampoo. I'm still using it until it's gone. But it's almost gone, so I went and got me some other shampoo, and I will tell you what that is. I was using Suave Daily Clear Face. Do not use anything Suave. Suave either makes you really dry or really greasy, depending on what you use, and it leaves a residue, and it doesn't feel like it cleans your hair. The Daily Clarifying feels like it cleans your hair, but it feels like it strips your hair of all the oils in your hair. I have been using Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Leave. 3 Minute Miracle Deep Conditioning Treatment once a week and I still use that and it still makes my hair really good. See, the, the swab left my hair really dry so I had to get me a different moisturizing shampoo. And this made my hair shiny so I'm pretty impressed with my new shampoo. Because I got it because I asked my cousin's daughter who's a hairstylist what to use because of my dry, hair was getting dry and because I was having problems and I'm not going to use that daily clarifying, but maybe once a month now, because I don't want to dry my hair out with this. She said it's d daily clarifying shampoo is too harsh on your hair. But I would, I switched to this because my hair was dry and oily. I mean, not dry and oily, dry and snarly. It's a Garnier Fructis Fortifying Shampoo Triple Nourishing, and it's about eight bucks for bo shampoo and conditioner. And I also recommend always using a conditioner if you got really long hair. And only doing it on uh, what comes away from your scalp, your scalp in your head. Not anything that's around your scalp, your scalp, around this part of your head. Just what hangs up low and, and down. Like make a ponytail and like put conditioner on that part. Nothing above it good 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 recommendation to good hair care and to brush with a wide tooth comb which I do and when my hair is dry I only brush with a wide tooth comb when my hair is wet but when I'm it's dry I don't always use a wide tooth comb when my hair is wet sometimes I, I'm in a hurry and don't have time so I just grab this because um this is a Conair hair brush and it's just a big flat brush Cattle brush and it works great on my hair. It brushes it up. I noticed that my hair was easier to brush out once I changed the shampoo. The daily clarifying shampoo I probably won't use as much because it does leave my hair a little too dry. But this left my hair really moist without being oily. As far as I've been using it for about a week, and as far as I'm considering, consider, as far as I'm concerned pretty good shampoo. She recommended three types of shampoos that are really good. She said, Tresemme's really good. She recommends that the most for store bought, for store shampoo that's cheap. Cheap. On the cheap end. Garnier Fructis and she recommended Aussie and those are the three. And I always used Aussie before. So, I say I love it and I love this shampoo. I really do. I think I'm in love with it. But anyways, I like that. The three she recommended not using that's not really that great for your hair is Pantene, Suave, and Herbal Essence. And I did use Herbal Essence back when it first came out and it first started. The reason, the reason people tend to not use it, what it, what your hair looks like in that commercial, in the commercial part is false advertisement because two things leaves a build up in your hair and after you use it for so long your hair looks dirty even if you wash it it leaves a film in your hair that makes then your hair still feels dirty it just feels grimy on your hair that's why I hated it, it your hair feels grimy after using it and dull it makes your hair dull looking but um, I've been, and I use the infusium only on the ends of my hair which are dry, just for extra moisture so that that part of my hair 
is smooth and not crispy and dry. And that's how I take care of my hair. And I leave, and if I'm gonna blow dry or um, straighten my hair, I have a John Frieda spray that you leave in your that you leave on you spray on. It's a, it's a heat treatment and it's really great. And I do recommend that. And it's not real res it doesn't leave a residue in your hair at all. And it's really light and it's not a heavy heavy anything. That's my hair care and my tips. Peace out and much clown love to the Juggalo family.